In the most hospitable of places, the Karudo Desert, which this map is not very good showing you because we are in the middle of a sandstorm. As you can see, because we can't see. So we can... So we can look here, and we can assume, based on distance, And based on the underground map, that we can get to where we want to go. Oh, hello, Mr. Korok. Uh, okay, your friend got separated. Okay. I cannot see that. Ah. Uh, uh, I... Where is that? Completely behind us? Uh, I... I think I see it. Barely, but surely. This is a terrible idea. Uh, luckily, it is cooling off. Which is good. It is getting later in the day, so we can not rely on the many heat potions that we need. Okay. Uh, are we getting close? Are you, are you gonna are you let me talk to you again? Oh, hello? Okay, stop throwing rocks at me, please. I'm trying to hit Mr. Korok. Get to where he needs to go. Completely blind. You're not gonna tell me where he's at, are you? Do I need to place you a little better? No, you're just gonna fall on your back. Okay, good. Okay, no, I, I can see that a little bit better. Sweet, and... move you away so we can try to see the smoke a little better. I don't see it anymore. Wheels take a break here at this cactus. Oh, I see it, I see it, I see it. We are going the right way for sure. You can see it now, can't you? It's right there. And where there's smoke, there's Koroks. As the old saying goes. Set first by the famous philosopher James G D. Decoucher. Thanks for bringing my friend. Here's something for you. Yeah. And oh, this is right outside the sandstorm too. Oh, we can see where we are. That, yeah, okay. Thanks for reminding me that I died here, game. That is exciting, though. And we now have a direction we can go. And it doesn't look like we are completely... Oh... Oh, we are completely screwed, aren't we? We... 
no matter where we go, we're gonna have to go through the desert. We needed to line up very precisely, and trust that we are going the right direction. Or... Let's see... Let's see if we can get above the storm. Woo! Oh! Oh my gosh, everything is covered in storm. That is not just a small sandstorm. That is a very, very big sandstorm. But we can't see all of the small things below us. So this definitely looks like the the intended way of travel. I mean, that's... What is that? That looks like something in particular. Alright, let's go for a descent. Ooh, the Arbiter's Grounds! Oh. Oh. Mm, here we go. And... Ooh, what a perfect landing. Desert isn't as bad as I thought it would be. Oh, sweet! I didn't think it was that big of a challenge to find it, but... I will take a free large Zonai charge. And I'll also take a free Light's Blessing. Maybe this was a harder one to find in the sense that... It kind of helps if you're underground and you actually know what you're looking for. And maybe that's the idea, is that you have to find them all underground and you have to deal with all the enemies underneath. And it's just like, the game's gonna throw you a freebie. But it didn't do that with the other shrine that we were at. So maybe this one is like the source of a riddle, like maybe south of the Arbiter's Grounds, there's like a rock thing. So... Or maybe it was just the developers running out of time, you know? I really like the way that that hood works with the rest of the outfit. I only wish we didn't have to wear the snow pants. But it'd be cold outside. Now hopefully it's not... <laughs> hopefully it hasn't swapped to daylight yet. We can survive during the night pretty well, but during the day, it's just kind of a pain. The map tower is all the way across the way. We can't even see the Arbiter's Grounds. That's, that's too bad. Oh. I am beginning to see why it was a challenge to get here. There is a swimming challenge involved with this quicksand. And my eight arrows. And, okay, we can... take care of him that way. Yeah, and then going against it must... Yeah, that takes a... We, like, instantly sink into the sand and our stamina falls apart. Ooh, gross. Don't do that to me.
Thanks. And <laughs> goodbye to the quicksand. Thanks for your wings and your guts, sir. But this is pretty neat. And an interesting way to get there. Oil jar, nice broadsword. Ooh, a hunter shield. Favored by hunters for its rapid design, which is said to bring lot on hunts. It's easy to use, but durability leaves something to be desired. Yeah, we don't need it. We've got like three or four fifty-five. Don't, don't shock me, bro. Thanks, Tuwin. You're the best. I thought I. S it looks like it's daytime, but it's definitely not. It's like 3 a.m. But it looks like. Bright daylight for cobwebs, which is fun. Okay, this is where the graveyard must be then. And I think this is specifically the Arbiter's, part of the Arbiter's grounds, which also makes sense with the lore of everything. Which means the Colosseum might be sunken in a little bit of a part of it. So it's like all of it is like a wider bit, which is kind of neat. And it's also really cool that, oh, they have arrows in them. That's really cool. And come at As usual, Tulin, you're helpful. And I can save my arrows if I just throw these at people. And I can get more arrows this way, too. Excellent, excellent. That means I am not going to be running low on anything anytime soon. Okay, two vol- Ah, oh, that's the sun that I keep saying. But the day is starting to... The sun's starting to rise, which means we are going to need some heat-resistant food here pretty soon. And there is nothing here in this desert. I bet the hovercraft should be pretty good here. There we go. Hello? Goodbye. And that is a high plateau. We are at the Kara Ata Shrine with some flying gifts. Not good aim. Oh, all it takes is one little fire thing to take him out. We'll probably want to avoid those in the future just because I only have like 20 of those. And you'll never know when you really want more of those. Was that the is that the Ring of Death Mountain that I'm seeing? only been 20 minutes and we're already on shrine number two of the day drifting kara hata okay 
So usually they have a torch for this. What am I supposed to like throw it? Huh. Interesting. So I can't see what's down there, but I've got to imagine that there's something down there? Maybe it's just easier to do it like this. And that's not on its way down. Well, there are these little three things here. And each of these are empty. This does for us. I wish I could get a better look and angle about what's down there. All I see is okay, so all I see is a treasure chest. And it's not high enough, is it? Hmm. Okay, well, we'll just leave it high enough here then. Then we'll drop it. Run. Okay. All right, we will catch that. So is that catching it on fire? Okay, it did. Perfect. I see what we have to do. Huh? 
And I don't think that caught, did it? <laughs> yeah, there's no way. It's just gonna fall. But at least I don't have to do all three at once. That is a nice thing. Like, uh, oh, it is, it is very, very hot. Uh, that is not good. are headed to Ger what I think has to be Gerudo Town. And so we shall not go that way. We'll be going this way now. Mushroom. Mushroom grows in the wild. It's naturally insulated in cooking and cooking electricity. Yeah.
Can we get some momentum? There we go. There. Come on. I'm burning out. I'm burning alive out here. Could use a little bit more speed. Here we go. There we go. There we go. And hey, we found Gerudo Town. Excellent. And why is it a why is it abandoned? Uh this is not what I expected. Construction service notes. In regard to the work in the hole in the floor, due to a lack of resources, a large stone slab has been used to temporarily seal the hole in the floor. Okay. In a bottle. It's you, at long last. You, Vo reading this letter, are the Vo I was fated to meet. And I am the Vi you were destined for. Uh, Vo meaning guy and Vi meaning girl. So, this is a romantic note. You must hurry and rescue me. I am locked away from the outside world. Do not worry, though. I will send all of my love to you until you come and find me. Stay safe and know that when we, we will meet soon. It is our destiny, after all. So it's the same letter over and over and over again. Okay. Oh, and it's coming from above. Okay. There's a foe here! Stop him! Uh-oh. Are you, are you gonna kick me out? Gerudo Town is famous for kicking out men. Huh? Oh, are not permitted to be here. You must leave at once. Oh. Hold on. Hey! Boliara! It has been some time, swordsman. It's all right. This one has the chief's permission to enter, and he is welcome to visit any of the shops and businesses. Spread the word. Let everyone know this is the case. Oh. For you to come all this way, enduring the strange storms that plague us, you must have important news to share. Our motions. Mm -hmm. The Princess of Hyrule is still missing. We have heard the events of Hyrule Castle, but this... Things are dire indeed. Still swordsman. I mean, Link. I am impressed that you made it here through this storm that surrounds Gerudo Town. 
The sand settled, shroud settled on us some time ago. We sent patrols to try to determine what was causing it, but... A swarm of monsters, creatures called Gyptos, suddenly appeared, attacked our troops, and forced us to retreat. Yeah, I saw those guys too. The Gyptos have even made their way into the town. As a result, everyone was evacuated to this shelter for, safe, for their safety. As someone charged with protecting Gerudo Town, I am ashamed to admit our current situation. This is all to say, although I wish I could help you search for the princess now, is not a good time. I'm sorry. Mm. Lady Riju is currently training. She is trying to become strong enough to save us from this disaster. If you are hoping to speak with Lady Riju, you should visit the ruins to the north. All right. We are... We are making it down? Okay! Oh, hello. Hey, so you're a special though, aren't you? Otherwise the soldiers would be arresting you right now. So, why are you special? Hey, Dahlia, you better not be speaking to that Vo. Didn't Miss Ashai teach you the first rule about Vo? For young Vi, speaking with a Vo will only invite misfortune. I'm not talking to the Vo, I'm just talking. I can't even see, so it's not my fault who comes walking by. Oh. Oh, that doesn't make any sense. Oh. Listen up, Vo, you shouldn't go poking your nose in Gerudo life. You're free to come and go as you wish, but please don't disrupt the peace of our town. Yeah. Ooh, a hydro. A hydro melon. I could use some of those. Vosak. Vosak. Oh, I can't believe the chief is letting you stay in the shelter. She must be playing some kind of joke. You just worry about the fruit you're going to buy, and don't even think about distracting my daughter from her studies. Ah. Uh. Yeah, 60 rupees. Mm. Sarsko. Oh, they only have one? It is not the booming business town that I thought it would be. Huh. Oh, you must be... Uh. What? What do you want? I, I'm busy right now, okay? I need to make sure the foe of my dreams hears my feelings for him. But how can I properly focus with positive energy or the bottles in the water while this guy is loitering around? Huh? Get out of here! Scram! Aww. Uh -huh. Not quite the, co the love connection that I thought it would be. Mm. Where did the owner... Hmm? You're the chief's guest. Mm, so this is the Vo. His ears to be about at the circumference of his head and neck. Interesting. Oh, I'm sorry. You're the first Vo I've ever seen. I get carried away figuring out your measurements. Oh. Why was I doing that? Because I make accessories, and the key to any good accessory is the perfect fit. My name's Kara. I haven't had a lot of opportunities to make accessories for a Vo. So if you give me the chance, I'll put everything I've got into making something really great ones for you. Mm. If the shop's owners were here, she could probably have made you all sorts of things. But she went to look out for potential adornments and hasn't come back since. She was in such high spirits, too, gushing about all the treasure she'd find around the Toruma Dunes. That's a dangerous place, though. Moldolga territory. I hope she didn't run into trouble. Molduga territory. Uh, anyway, did you need something? The owner may not be here, but I can do what I can. I don't have anything to sell. <laughs> the only place in the whole world that does that. Okay. Ruby circlet? 1,300 rubies. And a sapphire circlet. To make hot climates more tolerable. That's probably something I'm going to have to get. A gem that increases the power to land... Increased defense ones. <coughs> We're probably gonna have to get the sapphire circlet. I don't think there's any choice around that. Uh, 
Um, but while we're here, let's go ahead and get ourselves another heart. For four lights of blessings, I will amplify your being. I want a heart container. And she will grant me the power that I seek. Peace to the world. You, you are a real foe, right? I am indeed. Really? Are you telling the truth? I learned that in class, that all foe like to lie, though. Hey, Kalani, Kalani, you better not be talking to that foe. Why don't you follow Makur's example? Be more like your sister. <laughs> it's fine. I haven't made eye contact, so it's all fine. Of all the things you could have learned to do at your age, why is arguing the one you've taken a, such a liking to? Alright, well, at least we can get some arrows. Ah, Shaq. Ah, Shaq. I sell arrows and I sell choo choo jelly. What do you think? A pretty sensible combination, right? Oh. Okay, how many do you want? Uh, I will take all your arrows. That's 70 rupees? For, ten, for 20 arrows? Yes. So, let's go. Um, actually, ice choo choo jellies. If it's cool to the touch, we might be able to use that. Gerudo aren't supposed to talk to Vu. And I'm a little Gerudo, which would see I have to stop talking to you now. Uh. Eh, my granddaughter still has a lot to learn before she can talk to a Vu. If you need something, just come talk to me instead, okay? Okay. Mm. What, are you looking for a handout or something? Actually, let's see what we can buy. We can uh. sell. Mm. I hate not being able to see the sun. I'm ready to say Savok to this place. I hear ya. And there's gotta be like a shrine right above us too. Oh, sand seals. Probably a way out. Sava. Sava. Oh. You're a really special vow, aren't you? You must truly adore Lady Riju if you were just willing to travel through a sand shroud. Hmm. I wish I had a bow like you in my life. <sighs> I thought I could turn my back on past loves and focus on finding the perfect bow for me. But the sand shroud just really put a damper on my motivation. Talk about being unlucky in love. There is a lot of... This makes a lot of sense. There's a lot of... Like, even this right here. Because Gerudo... The Gerudo town is... It's an... It is a village of all females. They wouldn't know how to talk to guys, which apparently they've made... They've made a whole bunch of, like, dummies so they can practice talking to guys. And they can talk... They can practice how romance works, because they do need to go out in the world, get married, and then they need to have daughters so that Gerudo Town can keep being a Gerudo Town. Oh. Oh, you're that special vow the guard was talking about. My name is Ashai. I'm in charge of teaching the Vo and You class to the Gerudo. <laughs> Have your head start on someone special? Oof. It's a bit of a personal question. Well. I suppose there is someone. She's a princess and she flies up into the sky and she kind of like is disappearing and she might be stuck in the past. <laughs> <laughs> you don't hold anything back, do you? Most Vi hold value honesty in a vow. That's a good trait for you to have. <laughs> you're welcome to sit on a lesson if you're interested. Vo aren't normally allowed in town, so it'd be a rare treat for the class if you showed up. Maybe you could combine the evening? 
That class is for the older Gerudo. The daytime class is for the younger students. I don't think they're quite ready to meet a bow. It's like 9 p.m. This is like a night class. Sava. Sava. Mm. Okay, don't panic. When a vo starts a conversation with you, the first step is... Uh. I remember I was supposed to do... I remember to... No, I'm trying a blank. Even after all the vo in new classes, as soon as I'm in a real-world situation, all these lessons just vanish. I know I should have spent more time practicing. Uh. What's with this vo? Why does he keep looking at me? This is ruining my concentration. How am I supposed to focus on the lesson now? Uh... Mm -hmm. This is where I teach the class on Vo. It's only for students who are willing to engage. If you're interested, you're welcome to join, but you have to participate. Alright, come in. Hi. Okay, everyone, pay attention. Today we're going to have a very special lesson. We have a Vo here with us. Just try to relax and be your regular normal selves when you're talking to him. All right? Oh. Nolly, I know you can do this. Mm. Teacher, I... Uh, I can't. I can't look directly at his face. Oh. That's okay, we can stop here for now. Mm. You'll have to do something about that fear eventually. But I think once you muster the courage to face a foe, even just one time, your feel will wash away forever. <laughs> I'm sorry. I imagine that was a bit unexpected, wasn't it? You see, she's never seen a foe in person. She's only really seen them in drawings or recreations like the Vo dummies. I suspect if you hid your face, it would be easier. It's probably just too early to make eye contact while chatting. I hope you aren't feeling discouraged, though. It would be wonderful if you visited class again. <laughs> Sarsko for taking the time today. So we have something that covers my face. Oh! Oh! Thief sees him! They thought I was eager! Wait. <gasps> now that I look closely, you're the foe from before! Do you realize you're dressed like a member of that group that intends us harm? <laughs> Put fear into many people if you walked around dressed like that, even if you know that you're not one of them. <laughs> so if you want out of there, you need to change your clothes first. <laughs> I don't know what I expected. There are plenty of things that cover the face. How long have you been here? Wait, I recognize you. I've seen you walking around out there. I don't understand, you're a man, but they let you just come and go whenever you like? It's no secret that the Garud originally enforced their law that forbids men from entering the town. So how come you're able to walk around without causing a fuss? I mean, mm. I barely crossed the threshold between the town and desert. They threw me in jail faster than I could say, no wait, not jail. They didn't give me a chance to explain anything at all. I just wanted to see the faces of my wife, Perida, and our daughter, and our daughter, Ocalette. But, and I'm only telling you this because you seem like a trustworthy sort. I've actually seen my daughter a few times, so on average, I'm more happy than upset. Oh. Even though they have me in this jail, I do see her occasionally. However, I haven't seen my wife once. I know she was planning to work at a clothing store in Gerudo Town, but that's all I've got. I'm sure my daughter could tell me more, but I haven't been able to talk to her yet. Paradise Alkalet, I know we'll be together again soon. Oh, that's... That's really sad. And I bet that someone has translated the script online. I'm curious about what that would say. Oh. I hope you realize it's better to behave yourself. And in any case, the captain sent word to let you out. But I'd better not see you rule breaking face around here again. That's fair. Uh. Hey! Welcome. Wait, a man? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. You must be that man, I mean, though, that everyone is talking about. It's so unusual to see a man here. 
So you really did get special permission to be in here, huh? All the same, you should still be on your best behavior. You wouldn't want to end up thrown out or in jail. That's normally what happens with men who come in here. <laughs> like what happened with that to that guy over there. But I don't think you have anything to worry about as long as you behave. <laughs> anyway, this is important. Since you've been allowed into town, you absolutely have to try the spa plan at Hotel Oasis. The owner of the place, Roma, has been the special technique that is all the rage. Originally, I was just another customer coming here to relax, but I got hooked. Now I work here as an assistant. <laughs> uh -huh. The spa plan that Olu offers is reasonably priced and a good option, too. But, well, just keep in mind that it's discounted for a reason. I don't think the results are guaranteed. Oh, okay. Uh, the spa plan is available. Mommy works. Secret map. Mommy works. Secret map. <laughs> hey, you're a Vo, aren't you? So the rumors were true. There's a Vo in town. You don't look like the Vo dummies from the Vo in U class, though. <laughs> but I guess you look how I imagine a Vo looks. Anyway, I'm Pearl. Nice to meet you. This is Aklet. She's a Vi who became my sister recently. Well, I mean, not like my blood-related sister, but I think of, I think of her as she, like she's family. <laughs> By the way, my actual older sister is a scholar. Isn't that incredible? I think I'll become a scholar too when I grow up. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so the Vo class is... Over here, is it still going? Mm -hmm. Yes, let's participate. Let's see what we can do. Hi. We got a special. We have a bow. All right. Oh. Nolly, you can do this. My face is covered. Ah. Hey, hey, I can talk to him like this. <laughs> so, um, hi, my name is Nolly. <laughs> I make an amazing wild berry creep, crep, 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 crep. Dish! And I hope to share one I've made with a Vo someday. Oh. Alright, that's enough. Ma. Amazing job, Nolly. Vo are known to think with their stomachs sometimes, so mentioning your cooking was a good idea. It's true. A way to a Vo's heart is a stomach. They're especially susceptible to sweets, so well done with the wild berry food. Oh. Sars go to you as well. It was very kind of you to conceal your face for Nolly. It seems like that's just the thing she needed to get past her anxiety to talk to you. <laughs> you are more than welcome to return to this class in the future. Ooh, are we gonna do the, the, the other two? Hi. Pay attention, we're gonna have a special vote. <laughs> oh. Pratana, let's see what you can do. Um, Britana? <laughs> uh, I can't do it! I need that drink from the canteen to give me energy! Mm. Are you okay? Let's not push you too hard. Yeah, okay, alright? We'll just stop here. Oh. It's great when someone reaches outside their comfort zone to try something new, but no one should ever force that kind of breakthrough. Mm. I'm sorry if that worried or scared you. Though are a common sight to most of the Vi here, so hopefully you can forgive their reactions. <laughs> Don't be discouraged, though. It'd be great to have you visit us again. And of course, Sasha goes to spending time here today, too. Okay. So, we just need to get a dish. That, should, should, that shouldn't be too bad. Salve. Salve. I guess it's true. I heard the guards were talking about it, but I still didn't believe a Vo was actually here. I'm impressed. You made it all the way here through a sand shroud. Oh? Oh, did you really get a did you rent a sand seal to get here? I nope. <laughs> but but if you didn't rent one. No, we couldn't have found a wild one. The sand shroud has made it almost impossible to track them down. Does that mean you walked? <laughs> That's even harder to believe in finding a wild sand seal. Oh, you foe! Are all of you such pranksters? 
You obviously must have rented one from the shop near the entrance of the desert. It's the only answer that makes sense. <laughs> so I for your business. My mom and I are in the business of trading sand seals and training sand seals and renting them out to folks. The sand trout has made it far too dangerous to go above ground right now, so my shop is temporarily closed. But if you got questions about sand seals, I'm happy to answer them. Yep, yeah, I've caught one before, so. <laughs> Ooh, nice! So long as the sand strand is around, we can't rent out any sand seals. At this rate, my job might evaporate. Maybe I should start looking into attendant Lady Ryuji's beloved sand seal, Patricia. Right now, Pata is looking after Patricia, but she's a soldier too. I wouldn't be shocked if she had to help with all the strange monsters. If I'm serious about changing jobs, maybe this is my chance? Maybe. Ooh. Now this is a very interesting room. That is the cookery symbol for forest. That has got to be... I guess this has to be the Goron Ruby for fire? That, I'm not sure. I, do I not remember all the sages off the top of my head? That looks like a pause button because that looks like time. That must be the light. That must be light. Because light is the, look, there's the light sage. And then this has got to be shadow, which means this can be water. Which means one of them is spirit. Based off of colors, this should be, yeah, that looks like fire. Spirit, light, I mean, and that could be shadow, but that's purple for time. But this is a representation, a representation of the seven sages, which there were giant, there are seven, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, yeah, the seven sages, which has been a big thing since Zelda since Link to the Past. So, and there are seven statues out there that are the seven uh, heroines, which are references to the seven sages. These even look like... Vo? dare I say? No, these look like maidens. So it's really cool that they have this together here too. So, I mean, that's pretty neat. <sighs> I hope the chief is okay. Maybe I should go after her, but I'm just the attendant to Patricia. I would be acting against her wishes too. If I were to go out though, I could just go through here when it comes out of the Northern Ruins and that's where the chief was headed. Uh, the Northern Ruins? Uh, Patricia? Ooh. My apologies. Oh. Patricia is the chief's beloved sand seal. You've heard of sand seals, right? They're desert creatures that can navigate the dunes with amazing ease. And Patricia is a very special one. She seemingly has the power of an oracle. Mm. Or she did. Ever since the upheaval, she's mostly been sharing these strange numbers. I've told, I've been her attendant for years now, but even I can't make sense of this turn of events. Ooh. She's headed off with the chief right now. They're headed off to the northern, northern ruins. If you want to speak with Patricia, you'll have to wait until things have settled down and the chief isn't so busy. So, in the northern ruins. Oh. The chief wants to train in the northern ruins. She rode out there with her beloved sand seal, Patricia. I'm worried, though. There have been a lot of those strange monsters popping up in the world lately. But as worried as I am, this, this frustrating sand shroud makes it impossible to navigate the desert. The chief has an amazing sense of direction, but I'm not so lucky. So to start traveling above ground, I was thinking about using the secret passage to get to the northern ruins. Uh. Oh, I just can't stop myself from worrying about the chief. I wish this Vogue would go check on her for me. At least then I'll do the rest a little bit easier. Well, we are definitely going to do that 
in a bit. Sava. Sava. Hmm. Oh, you must be the vow everyone is talking about. Say, are highly and vow interested in archaeology? You just call me Indiana Link. I don't think there's a better pun I can make with that. Would it surprise you to learn that I'm an archaeologist myself? After much work, I have finally deciphered these stelae. Eh? Do you want to hear what's written on them? You do, don't you? Yeah. Oh. If you insist. <laughs> First, let's tell over here on the left. It says, The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, their secret will be expressed on six stelae. As for the still over there, on the right, it says, The seven heroines who protect the Gerudo, an eighth, channels and guides the power of the seven. Ah. I doubt you know this, being a highly in vogue, but we Gerudo have believed in the heroines for a long, long time. Hmm. They're said to have protected and guided our people in times past. Unfortunately, I have found little in the way of documentation about the heroines themselves. There are many debates and disagreements surrounding these enigmatic, enigmatic, enigmatic figures. Some argue for the revering of all seven as a collective, and others for worshipping each one as an individual. Certain rabble-rousing contrarians even claim that there were not seven, but one! Or eight. If there's one thing scholars love, it is arguing with each other. Eh? But the Stali is definitely support the theory of eight. An incredibly discovery, isn't it? I could stop right here and say I've changed the face of archaeology. But if I found the other four Stali, who knows what else I might learn about the heroines? I wonder too about this orb that I found while searching for the Stali. Is it connected somehow? <laughs> if I give a presentation on this, I'll be the star of the archaeology society. Mm. But I've not been able to find any Stali besides these two. Since there's nothing like them on the surface, the others must be underground somewhere. I wish I could see the text inscribed on the stalley, even in just a picture would serve my purposes. Hey! You saw one of those. Uh, yeah, none of you really have anything. Okay, these are a bunch of soldiers. I'm really looking for a clothing store. Sava Sava. Sava Sava. Huh? Oh, you're the Vo. Uh. Sorry, I don't have time to deal with the Vo right now. All my attention needs to be preparing to welcome the out of time Vi. The Sandstorm is making the out of time Vi? Oh. I suppose I can tell you. After all, your situation's unique. As it happens, young Gerudo are not traditionally allowed to interact with Vo. And for Vi born outside town, when they reach a certain age, they're summoned back to Gerudo town. Ah. That small Vi over there is named Aklet. She recently arrived here along with her mother, Perda. Mm. Perda started working at one of the shops. One of them has a complicated relationship with the town. So she's rarely in the shelter anymore. <sighs> that must be a white... A lot draws... Spend so much time on the looking at the drawing on the wall over there. Ah. Thankfully, this town's like one big family. I'm sure the little ones will get used to living here soon enough. Stop. Okay. So this is the map. Woman Works Secret Map. So if that's the map that we're looking for. And that's the that's the prison. And then this is the bar. Basa. Basa. Oh. 
Ah, uh, you must be the foe everyone's been talking about. Now, normally I wouldn't have anything for youngsters like you, but I've heard a new Vi is going to be coming to town soon, and that news sparked a f fire in me. I came up with a special version of my signature drink. It's one everybody from Vevi to Vaba can enjoy. Mm. However, I can't get up my hands on what I need to, to make what we're stuck here. I don't even want to forget the recipe. When is the sound shroud going to be cleared up anyway? Mm. <sighs> yeah, so she has the recipe, and we can't get the recipe until we're done there. Okay. That makes sense. Oh. So you know the vote that's been locked up in jail? Oh. oh yeah, the one that used the sand shroud to try to sneak into town. Oh. What about him? Mm. A little while ago, I went to grab something from that shelf over there. And while standing there, I swear I heard someone say, a clit. Mm? I've heard a clip before. I think that's the name of Perda's Vevi. Mm. You know, the jail is just on the other side of the wall. The wall behind the shelf, I mean. Mm. I've been wondering if maybe Perda's husband's locked up in there. Huh? If that's the case, Perda wouldn't have realized it that way now, wouldn't she? Mm. She's working at the Gerudo Secret Club, so she's not in the shelter. Maybe that's why she hasn't heard? <sighs> Most everyone has been avoiding eye contact with this bill, including me. Wait, is this... R I mean... It is the prison. How fascinating. No. Well, how did you get in there? That's obviously a jail cell, not a place for visitors. Only prisoners are supposed to be in there, like the foe who tried to get into town. But you're the chief's guest. The fact that you got in there on purpose or by accident without me knowing would be embarrassing, so... Get out of there before anyone sees you, come on! I like how the game picks up on those little things like that, that's pretty neat. Okay, so she's in the, the Gerudo secret shop. The secret shop is outside of the shelter. And it is... We cannot continue on the dating quest line. So... Let's figure out... Mm. Eh? Hey, show me! Mm. What does this one say? Let's see... The seven heroines who protect Gerudo. This power is housed within the seven spirits. Curious, does that mean the seven the heroines' power have changed form even now that they are gone? And what can I mean by spirits? Eh? What, what if spirits refer to orbs like this one? Sauton, I believe I've made a breakthrough. Ah. I'm curious what we've written on this study. You have more to show me, do you? Not yet. Eh? Only three remain. Oh, I know what stone she has. Okay, that's neat. <laughs> Hey, don't even think about looking down on us noble guards, understand? Not only have they adapted to a brand new training regimen, one no focused on mobility, but they go straight into battle with hes without hesitation against the Gibdos. They have nothing if they're not their pride. Oh. I've only heard about it second hand, but the guards have been training hard to improve their desert mobility. We see some time ago, when Lady Riju had become chief, Gerudo Town faced a major crisis. After it resolved, Lady Riju swore that our military forces would be prepared to face any new threats that came along. Ah. Fortunately, that was a tougher task than anyone thought. Luckily, Lady Riju's close friend, Princess Cell, came to visit. The princess suggested that the Gerudo learn to be more in touch with the desert itself. This inspired Lady Riju, and she proposed a new training regimen. At least that's what I heard. Ah. Unfortunately, it doesn't help to, to have helped against those Gibdo things. The Gibdos are strange monsters. Our spears don't even scratch them when their guards try to fight. I can't think of a time where monsters are ferocious, though he's proud of the desert. 
Even with the no training regime the troops went through, these monsters are too tough. Brutal force won't help much into them. Be clever. Think up some new think up some kind of new weapon to fight. Yes. Indeed. Hmm. I understand what you're saying. But right now it's a luxury that we even get this much space in the shelter for training. It's only enough room for sparring, so that we'll have to do for now. Huh. But Captain Tech! We need the training area. Is there no way to get it opened up for us? Training area? Oh. Um, oh, you're the vote that the chief has allowed inside the town walls. If you're interested in the training area, you must be looking to refine your abilities, huh? Well, the Southern Oasis training area is where we've been working to improve our desert mobility. Physical strength is important in fighting, of course, but, it's, but being able to easily navigate the desert is valuable, too. In fact, I'd argue that maneuverability is the most important part of surviving in this desert. Oh. If you really think that, then we need to reopen the training area and get to work right away. Nah. I already said no, Sutri. If we underestimate how dangerous the desert is, we'll never live long enough to master it. Going out and training in the sand shroud will just be throwing your life away. Until the sound shroud ends, we can't risk going to the training area. I won't allow it. <clears throat> well, what about this? Ah, that is just hiding. Okay. Cool, cool. Sabota. Sabota. Ah. If you got something to say, please make it quick. After a humbling first encounter with the Gibdo, I realized we needed a new unit to combat them. This new unit is in the middle of training. They need to get in fighting shape fast so the enemy can strike at any time. What's the new unit? Oh. Well, the Gibdos did a serious stub on us before. It was so bad that some of the guards who fought in the first encounter are still recovering from their wounds. I believe the, that partly has to do with how hard it is to protect yourself while using a spear. Both hands are full, you see. So I've established a new unit that will use a sword and shield instead. They can better guard themselves that way. Makes sense. Mm. Well, if Lady Ruji has me in control... Of her lightning, we might have been wiped out. All the more reason to get this new unit ready. We have to keep Lady Rachel safe. Ah, be careful! Can't you tell when someone's deeply focused on a dangerous task? Cannons demand the utmost care while handling. I may be only practicing right now, but if I my hands slipped, I could set off the cannon. Huh? Don't talk to me again. It could be bad, really bad. Oh, and it was pointed to the. Powder check, cannonball check, aim for the barrel check. Finally start the countdown. Three, two, one. Fire! Fire! No! <laughs> what up? It, it went off? Hey! Bata! The shelter is an important piece of our history. What are you doing firing that off down here? Uh, 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 I'm sorry! Huh? Hey, this is your fault! Just unbelievable! That's exactly why we're so wary of foe! Huh? <laughs> Alright, that's... That's kind of awesome. Oh. Everyone in town has been informed of the special exception you've been given. Some may be shocked to see you, but don't take it personally. And of course, feel free to make use of the inn or any of the shops. The Lady Ryujo is away, seeking a means to defeat the Gibdo. I am sure she would welcome you, as I have. Oh. Did you have questions for me? No. Oh. Lady Ruju trusts you, which is more than enough for me. You are free to make use of the inner any shops in town. Actually, let's take a look over... If there's anything over here. That just looks like three towers and electrical shrines, so that's probably something crazy. Actually, I do want to ask you about the Gyptos. The Gyptos are strange monsters that have recently appeared, right around the same time as the sound trap. The spears we wield have been surprisingly little effect on them. We've been trying to figure out new ways to fight back. Uh, I really wish I could tell them about how fire is very effective. Uh, oh, here. Show me. Let's see. The seven heroines protect the Gerudo with the wisdom, with the powers of heart, skill, fortitude, wisdom, flight, mobility, and compassion. Yes, this legend is well known, but it's never been verified. Eh? Until I came along, that is. <laughs> ah. I'm curious about what we have written on the stele. I do not have ah. any more. But I will buy some of this. Ah. 
I will take them. I'll take them all. Yes. And then let's also buy this. That'll be 1,400 rupees. Is that okay? Yes. <laughs> Suck. I personally guarantee that accessory will fit you perfectly. That should help us a little bit while we're in the desert now. Let's go. And I don't think I missed another one. And it's not like there'd be another one stuck in the sand somewhere. Let's just be a bit more thorough. I bet they're just on the way to the ruins, probably. Maybe through the open door. Because there was one there in the prison. Let me just take some butter. So you have special permission from the chief? Well, that explains that, and sorry for shouting. Oh, maybe a foe could help me endure my spa plan practice. <laughs> okay, Mr. Vo, if you don't mind, would you consider helping me with my spa plan practice? I call it practice, but I guarantee that I'll make your body feel as good as new. Don't worry about that. But, and this is where I'm still working on, if I think it's just right, uh? you'll feel a boost of energy just like with the owner's spa plan. Your apprentice spa plan is 25 rupees too, that's only where half... I see a bargain. Uh, let's relax until the evening. I'm gonna put my, all my focus, all my power into this. I've mostly worked on Vi, so let me know if I'm pressing too hard. What's that? Well, you might be fairly relaxed, but you seem to be less tired at least. <laughs> you have a lot of practice ahead, so come back anytime. 